guys and welcome to this video. It's a very spontaneous video. Uh, I got very excited as I was building this terrain set. It's the very first commission uh, that I was asked to do. It's for one of our local gamers. He is playing uh, 40k and this set he wanted for Frostgrave slash 40k. Uh, he asked me to do six jungle islands and he already provided me with the plants. So I only had to do the islands themselves and then uh, glue the plants onto the islands. But as we discussed, I uh, offered him an alternative where the islands will be separate, but the plants uh, are detachable. They are on separate base and you can play around with them as ever you want, put them wherever you want. But at the same time, I kept some plants on the base as he asked. So some of them are here. And this process, uh, while I'm filming this, the sand is still drying hot, uh, so I'm going to be very careful so it doesn't break and not ruin the texture. Now, as you can see here, I have a lonely librarian for the scale, and um, in total, as I already said, we have six islands. Then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and I believe somewhere is a tenth. Uh, jungle base like this and uh, I went very detailed with this uh, set I want to be very jungly not as my jungle set but better because I learned from my mistakes and um, in this project I used a bark actual bark I used actual stone sea stone and I used uh, a lot of cork uh, styrofoam and um, uh, sand mixed with PVA glue uh, and this is not yet done. Uh, once the sand, the texture sand is dry, I'm going to sand the entire piece where it's needed to make it more sandy uh, and more uh, muddy. And I think I want to use some uh, actual uh, plant soil for this because soil has a different texture once it's dried. So, but it's for a later uh, discussion. I have to try it out and test it out. But let's uh, take a closer look at the uh, islands themselves. And so he asked, as I said, he asked me for, for six islands. He wanted them different size and shapes. So I did some. Uh, I did small. Some I did bigger. So that's all part of the agreement. Now here's the sea stone. It's very uh, very thin, so it's crackable with your fingers, and that will give you this broken up texture. As you can see here on the biggest piece, I use a lot of uh, bark and um, it turned out quite well. As you see, the benefit of detachable plants, you can play around with the terrain as you want. If you want, you can make them it as dense as you want. This piece right here is my favorite one. Uh, again, a lot of bark and cork going up here and underneath here I actually went ahead and did a little bit of a cliff or more surprising we'll wait for the client uh, there will be a little uh, like a scenery there so I'm very excited for his reaction for that now this piece is also very good and nice looking and I also used um, I had from my train project I had this uh, stones that went to the aquarium and I decided to use it here for more rocky texture which came out very nice and um, this island is very texture itself I want to keep all these textures here so I'm going to work on that as you can see a lot of uh, sand mixed with white PVA glue going on every single piece and not only it will add texture but it would add weight to the set and it will not be uh, so easy to knock it off from the table while you're moving your models and accidentally hit it with your elbow or whatnot. And here is like the texture that I said when you break the stone with your uh, fingers, you leave this kind of texture which is very nice. So yeah, that's the terrain set for now. It's a uh, very whip right now. Uh, as I said, tomorrow I'm going to make more sand work on it and then it's going to be painting time and um, I'm very excited to try out new color schemes for this uh, as uh, the client asked me 
to do different colors and I'm very excited about that. And when it's done, we are going to present you a jungle train set showcase. So thanks for watching guys, leave a comment down below what you think so far. Uh, and yeah, hope you have a nice day and see you in the next one.